first question is, what do I think about the um, uh, the Khan Lions Festival, Khan Lion Festival, and what do I know about it? Truthfully, I didn't know much about it. Why did I come? Because I love the opportunity to come to places and talk to the people. I love doing this, you know. Of course, you know, I have a job and I am paid, and that's great. I'm happy to be paid and to communicate with people. But this is not a job. I am just here, and I'm happy. I'm always happy when we can communicate more intimately. Because sometimes in a concert, it's not you know so easy, especially a huge festival, to have such uh, direct contact with people. The ad business. Uh, I have to say that I came to New York City in 1967. Um, I was living with Robert Maplethorpe, and uh, Robert Maplethorpe went to uh, Pratt uh, uh, Art School, which is one of the top art schools in America. And advertising was an important um, form of study. Advertising became very interesting in the late 60s because young people who were involved in art and rock and roll um, got more involved and design wise they, they had the Milton Glaser studios and and also album cover design album cover and because rock and roll was a had its, has has its aesthetics it also filtered down to advertising for me when I uh, did horses I helped design the packaging and when there were advertisements in newspapers, still, I want to see them. So that they don't look stupid, so they don't have a bunch of stupid hype, so that they're designed nice. Um, I think that uh, um, too much advertising is very bad. I don't like too much advertising. But if you are going to use advertising, it should be um, first truthful and uh, there to communicate with the people, but also aesthetically, you know, attentive to the beauty of design and um, and and things that are uh, pleasing. So, but I um, I have a dual feeling about advertising. I think in some ways it's important. You have to. It's a way to communicate to people that you have done this work and you want them to see it, find it, perhaps buy it. But we're also in an age where advertising has become too much. I don't want to get in a taxi cab and see advertising. I don't want to sit in a plane and see advertising. I don't want advertising to take over my life. But I respect a certain aspect of it. So I think that we have to find more balance because also in our present technology, you know, like the internet is based on advertising. And uh, it, it, you can feel almost like you're being devoured by advertising. I think that our people that use advertising, they would be smarter to give the public less advertising, but more creative advertising. One good creative ad, one good campaign, is worth millions of flashing flags and signs. And so, less advertising, more creative advertising. Yeah. Yeah. I think that uh, media is failing us. I think that media has become, there is so much media and so much competition to attract the public that there is more gossip, more bullshit, uh, more crap, uh, less truth, less investigative reporting, and uh, it's, it's terrible, actually. You know, um, when, when uh, for instance, we were protesting the strike on, um, uh, on Iraq by the Bush administration, the American media gave us nothing, not a word. But if there was, um, you know, a girl goes in, a, a, a movie star goes into rehab, she'll get the front page of a newspaper. Gossip, 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 gossip. 
and things that are really important are either ignored or, uh, you know, tucked away. Now, this hunger for celebrity news is, uh, is like a disease. Of course, I think a lot of advertising is evil. I think pharmaceutical a advertising is evil. But believe me, um, or much of it, I am here, you know, some people will say, Patty, if you're, you know, into punk rock, why do you go to the opera? Why are you here at the uh, advertising convention? I am a free person. I'll go anywhere the fuck I want. If I want to come to talk to people at an advertising convention, they are still people. Everyone has a mind. Everyone, you know, it's, it's, it's possible to inspire people wherever you go. And, you know, I, I like to go to places where I'm not expected to be. And everyone has treated me well. No one told me how to dress. No one told me what to say. No one censored anything. I, I have been free since I've been here. And in terms of, you know, what to do with advertising, um, the most important thing for any advertising situation, first of all, is truth. That, that, that things be true. The second is that the exploitation, that young people should not be explo exploited. Young girls should not be sexually exploited for sec sexual advertising. Or, um, and that, uh, you know, that, that people should be seduced to get drugs and pharmaceuticals that they don't need through advertising. There is a lot of bad things about advertising, but also, you know, it's information. You know, sometimes advertising is good. I was really happy when I opened up uh, Rolling Stone one day and saw an advertisement for Blonde on Blonde because it meant a new Bob Dylan record. When I did Because of the Night and had a small, a, a small hit, don't you think it's a danger that now that you have a hit song that you're not a punk rocker anymore? Don't you think it's a danger that you got married and have children, now you're a domestic cow and you're not an artist? <laughs> Fuck all that. I do what I want. Yeah. I do what I want and I go where I want. Where there is danger, there is danger with a big corporation dumping chemicals into a river that's giving children cancer. That's danger. Patty coming to a little conference about advertising is not going to hurt the world. <laughs> Advertising, at its best, is information. It's information. You know, you can, you know, um, and that's all I can say. It depends how it's used. It's like anything else, you know. Everything in life, you know, and a glass of wine is nice. But if you drink, you know, two bottles of wine a day, you're going to get sick and perhaps die. You know, it's just... Everything has its balance. Everything has its purpose. You know, I, I can't, uh, I'm not an expert on advertising. I can say as, as a person, I don't like a bunch of advertising. But I also can appreciate certain aspects. And, and, and it's, uh, I mean, I, people advertise my books. They advertise if I have a concert, you know. I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's really a, a, a responsibility. When I see evil advertising, I'll write a letter or I'll speak out against it. You know, I'm not here as a pawn for the advertising co uh, community. But I also, I, I just think that we, um, you know, there's also the aspect of know thy enemy. One thing that I think is very important, really. I would, if I had a message, like I already said, to advertisers, is we don't need so much advertising. Stop giving us so much advertising. Be creative. Find a way to serve us that is not so invasive. I have always been against labels. I, have, I, I, I don't like being called anything. To me, the only thing that I could be truthfully called is a mother and a worker. The rest is bullshit, you know. When I was young, I was queen of uh, queen of punk. Now I'm old, I'm grandmother of punk. You know, it's just like well, when I die, I'll be the death of punk. I don't know. But uh, to me, um, 
I'm not interested in, in marketing and things like that. I'm really not. Um, in, my, in my operation, my operation is small. I have my band and a few, and a few crew members. My drummer designs and makes all our t-shirts. You know, 150, I sign them, he sells them. That's our little operation. I'm not, you know, interested in, in having, I, I don't need that, I don't want that. It's, all I want is to be free to do my work. I feel two things. One, I believe that the artist should be allowed to do his work with a certain amount of privacy and freedom. One thing I don't like is if I do a concert now, I'm trying to work out a new song, it's all over the internet and I have no opportunity to surprise the people with a new record of new things. So that I think is disappointing. Um, I think that an artist works hard, has to make a living and do his work and deserves to be paid for his work. But after a point, I don't care. You know, I'm happy if I can make some money because I have children and I have responsibility. But if I was really big, like the Beatles or something, I wouldn't even want the money anymore. I would just do it. Because really, how much money do you need? <laughs> but um, and anyway, that's my philosophy. But I really don't mind. You know, if somebody has the money to buy my book, fine. I'm happy. I sold a book. If they don't, they take get it from a friend, that's fine too. The main thing is when you make music, uh, write a book, you do something, you're, you're doing it for the people, and however they have to get it, they have to get it. When I was a young girl, I didn't have the much um, enough money to buy Illuminations by Rimbaud. I had to steal it. So, what can I say, you know? But I, I think really, uh, like everything else, balance. Let the artist make some money. Uh, it sh things should not be stolen. But after a while, share it. Share it with everybody. <laughs>